On the first one, guys, all they're asking you to do is determine what point is at when we have an angle t equals pi. So um, again, to remember, if we're looking at this, all right, remember when we're trying to determine the point, the first thing we need to do is determine the angle. What does the angle of pi represent? Well, remember, when we're drawing an angle, we start with them in standard form, meaning that we have an initial side. All right. Then from the initial side, we're going to rotate another ray at the vertex a distance of you know, a measurement of pi. So we go to our unit circle, and we remember, well, what is this distance in pi? Well, remember, we came to pi because we took this distance from the center to our unit circle, what we call our radius. And we could wrap one, two, three radiuses around, but the number of radiuses that wrapped around a circle was pi, 3.14159, dot, 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 dot. So the measurement of an angle, if I was going to take one angle here and rotate it pi radians, that would give me my terminal side here. Now we know that pi is equivalent in degree form of 180 degrees. So now I just need to determine well, what is this point then on the unit circle. Well, remember our easy points is this point would be 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1, negative 1 comma 0, and 0 comma negative 1. So the point at pi is starting here, rotating here, is going to be negative 1, 0. That's how I got to that point. OK? Now we get into a little bit more fun. So.